Hi friends, welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to learn about what is Newton's law of viscosity, what is Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. First of all, we are going to learn what is Newton's law of viscosity. It states that shear stress tau on a fluid element layer is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain. The constant of property is called the coefficient of viscosity. Mathematically, it is expressed as tau is equal to mu into du by dy. Tau equal to mu into du by dy is known as Newton's law of viscosity. Now what is Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids? The fluids which obey Newton's law of viscosity that is tau is equal to mu into du by dy fluids are known as Newtonian fluids. And fluids which do not obey the Newton's law of viscosity is known as non-Newtonian fluids. When Newton's law of viscosity and then what you do is equal to mu into du by dy. About the Newtonian and then non-Newtonian fluids and then what you do. Newtonian fluids and then what you do. Newton's law of viscosity obey in the non-Newtonian fluids and then you can do. Newton's law of viscosity obey the other. About either random. ഇത്രയും കാര്യങ്ങൾ എക്സാമിന് നമ്മൾ ആവശ്യമായിട്ടുള്ളൂ ചോദിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എഴുതാൻ മാത്രമുള്ള സംഭവങ്ങളാണ് എന്നാൽ കൂടുതലായിട്ട് ഇതിൻ്റെ എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ വേണമെങ്കിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ തുടർന്ന് ഈ വീഡിയോയിൽ കാണുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ടു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്കൊരു ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ അവിടെ നിന്ന് ലഭിക്കുന്നതായിരിക്കും എക്സാം ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് കെ ടുവിൻ്റെ സിലബസ് അനുസരിച്ച് പറയുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ഇത്രയും ആവശ്യമുള്ളൂ എന്നാൽ കൂടുതൽ ഡീറ്റെയിലായിട്ട് തുറന്ന് video kaanumbol manasilavu students today we will learn that what is newton's law of viscosity in this lecture we will learn that and at the end of this lecture we will learn that by the help of a simple experiment how to get a feel that what newton's law of viscosity actually says you will understand it properly what is the physical significance behind that okay so suppose this is a surface a solid surface okay over which some fluid is flowing okay so when some fluid flows over some surface then two types of flows are possible one is laminar flow and other is turbulent flow now what is laminar flow in laminar flow the fluid flows in form of well defined sheets and having well defined path you can see all the layers you can imagine that fluid is composed of many many layers one sheet of molecules over which there is another sheet of molecules over which there is another sheet of molecules so on there are there could be many many countless layer over this solid surface and all those layers are moving parallel to each other in a well defined path okay like this and what is turbulent flow in case the same fluid this type of flow generally occurs in case the velocity of flow is smaller okay and in case the velocity of flow is higher okay very high in that case those layer doesn't moves in well defined path you can see such type of zigzag fashion is observed okay means there is no as such well defined path of flow well defined path of movement such type of movement of fluid is called as turbulent now what happens that when these layers of fluid flows over each other you can see these layers are sliding over each other okay then there is a kind of fluid called as newtonian fluid okay for example water is a sort of newtonian fluid newton's law of viscosity is applicable for newtonian fluids okay so when the layers do slide over each other so between the layers when the layers have relative velocity between them then a sort of frictional force act between those two layers this is a sort of fluid friction due to the viscosity of the fluid okay viscosity is a property of fluid due to which the layers of fluid when flows over each other and have relative velocity between them then it exerts a sort of frictional force between those two layers due to the viscosity of fluid okay so such type of force in which the layers are resisting their motion 
is a sort of shear force okay so newtonian fluids are those in which those shear forces follows the newton's law of viscosity means whatever the shear force is developed between the layers due to the viscosity then it follows the newton's law of viscosity that is all called as newtonian fluid okay one of the example of such kind of fluid is water water is a sort of newtonian fluid almost follows the newton's law of viscosity okay now what is newton's law of viscosity that is see in case the layers of fluid are flowing over each other and we are taking any two layers okay you can see see this is layer 1 and this is layer 2 okay then the shear forces are acting between those two layers because in case the those two layers have relative velocity among them then shear forces are acting so newton's law of viscosity says that the corresponding shear stress between those two layers is proportional to the velocity difference between the two okay in case we are choosing these two layers then whatever the velocity difference is suppose this bottom layer is moving with 5 meter per second and the top layer is moving with 6 meter per second then 6 minus 5 1 meter per second is what the du is okay so greater the velocity difference between those two layers greater the shear stress is applied okay similarly in case the distance between those two layers which we are taking is more then the shear force is less means the shear stress is inversely proportional to the distance between the, this dy represents the distance the gap between those two corresponding layers okay so the shear stress is inversely proportional to that gap that is dy okay so more the distance between those two layers is lesser the shear stress will be it means what that in case you are choosing this layer and this layer okay the gap is more so between those two layers the shear stress is lesser compared to that of in case we are choosing these two layers which are very close to each other okay so finally we can conclude that shear stress is proportional to du by dy combining the two so in case we want to remove the proportionality sign we, we can apply a constant mu which is called as coefficient of viscosity okay so shear stress is equals to coefficient of viscosity into du by dy and i told you what is du du is the velocity difference between the two layers and dy is the distance between them okay now with the help of an experiment we will try to get a feel that what newton's law of viscosity says okay you can see that there is a table over here this is the top surface of table and over which there is a wet towel you can keep it like this as i am showing over here in the diagram okay wet towel sufficiently wet so it will try to stick with this surface table surface in case wet towel is kept over here these are the two free ends some portion of towel is out of this surface you can see okay now what you have to do hold these two corners and give a sudden pull to this towel so what you will find that a resistance is offered by the towel for its sliding okay it is trying to restrict that motion the reason being that a sort of shear stress is acting between the towel inner surface and the table top surface why see over here i am taking some portion of this system and here is the magnified view okay so this red colored line is for towel and this black colored line is for table top surface okay so between these two surfaces there is some water in it okay because it is wet okay so one layer of water is in immediate contact with this inner surface of this towel and one layer of water is in immediate contact with this table top surface okay so when you are pulling it with some velocity then between those two layers a velocity difference arises okay the layer which is in contact with this top surface of table has zero velocity and the layer which is in contact with this towel inner surface has the velocity by which it is pulled that is the velocity of towel okay so due to that thing the shear force is developed now in case you are pulling this towel with greater velocity you will find that resistance is higher 
okay in case you are pulling with slower velocity you will find that sliding resistance offered by this towel is smaller and in case you are pulling with higher velocity that resistance is higher the reason being the newton's law of viscosity says that shear stress between two layers of moving fluid is proportional to the velocity difference between those two layers so over here in case we are pulling with higher velocity then the du becomes greater in that case the shear stress developed is more so higher resistance is offered by this towel in that case now what you do is spill some water over the towel more amount of water okay perfectly submerged something like that so in case more amount of water is spilled over this system then what will happen that a bigger gap of water is created between the towel inner surface and the table top surface okay you can see this is the magnified view of this portion that between the towel inner surface and the table top surface more amount of water is present so in this this case what has happened dy has been increased okay that is the distance between the two layers the layer which is in contact with table top surface and the layer which is in contact with the inner surface of towel so this distance has been increased in this case you will pull it you will find it is smoother okay means resistance offered for the sliding motion of this towel in this case is smaller the reason being again newton's law of viscosity says that shear stress is inversely proportional to the dy that is the distance between the two layers so over here since that distance has been increased so the motion becomes smoother less amount of shear stress is developed so less amount of resistance is developed for the motion of this towel okay so this is how you can get a feel that what is newton's law of viscosity so hope you would have learned that what is newton's law of Sir, Isaac Newton's law of viscosity is only followed by Newtonian fluids. Non-Newtonian fluids do not behave according to this law. Viscosity is informally known as thickness. For example, honey is thicker than water. Newtonian fluids like water and honey don't change no matter how much force is applied. So, if you were to hit water or try and stand on it, you will pass through it as water will flow around you. This has to do with the fluid's viscosity or in other words, how easily the fluid moves. Fluids like water and honey have a low viscosity. Most fluids follow this rule. But there are non-Newtonian fluids who change their viscosity when the amount of force or the pressure changes. Example, toothpaste or ketchup. Starch, food coloring, stirrer, bowl, and water. Add about one and a half cups of cornstarch and one cup of water to the bowl. Mix the cornstarch and water together until the mixture is difficult to stir but not too dry. If necessary, add a bit more cornstarch or water until you reach a desired consistency. Sprinkle some. A food coloring over the surface of the mixture to make it colorful. Punch the oobleck with your fist and observe what happens. Now punch the water with the fist and observe what happens. As we can see that the oobleck becomes solid and when left alone is again a liquid. It also does not allow the fists and fingers to pass through it as its viscosity becomes high when force is applied on it. Notice how the oobleck solidifies when a tool is thrown. Fact about oobleck is that it is bulletproof as shown.
देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लूड्स न्यूटोनियन फ्लूड्स लाइक वाटर एंड हनी हैव लो विस्कोसिटी दैट इज इट ईजली मूव्स एट अ फास्टर रेट नॉन न्यूटोनियन फ्लूड्स हैव हाई विस्कोसिटी वेन फोर्स और स्ट्रेस इज अप्लाइड ऑन इट एग्जाम्पल टूथपेस्ट कैचअप ओ ब्लैक